Hey RV world, we're in our Salem FSX travel trailer. It's a 179 PBK if you're interested, but more importantly, we're going to show you our new generator. It's a 3200K generator and it runs on propane so you don't have to mess with gasoline, that smell, extra gas can. It runs off a propane tank that you use for your barbecue grill. So we're gonna show you that, we'll show you how to hook it up in this trailer or any other 30 amp trailer and it'll run everything inside this trailer. Check this out. So there it is. It's a Furman WHO 3242. It's a dual fuel generator. As you can see here, it's a 4,000 starting watts, 3,200 running watts. That's on gasoline. 3750 starting watts and 3000 running watts on LP gas. That's liquid petroleum gas. And uh, like I said, it'll run everything in a 30 amp trailer, air conditioner, microwave, and uh, as well as all the outlets. Here's your standard 30 amp plug on it. It's even got some USB hookups and uh, your regular 20 amp. This is switched for liquid petroleum gas. This is for gasoline. It's got a pull cord start. It's got an electric start with a battery on board. And this is your propane connection here. This comes with a propane regulator and will screw in to your regular propane tank. So let's get it out, get it hooked up, and we'll show you this thing running. All right, we're gonna show you how to hook this thing up. Your regulator rides on top. It's got a little clip on the top of it. So this end's going to go onto the tank like a barbecue grill, snug it up by hand. This end here, there's an electrical connection and the regular propane hookup like it would be on your quick connect. We're going to pop out the choke, turn on the gas from the grill slowly. And there it is, it's running. There's a battery kill switch on this trailer. It's right behind the battery box. That's off. We're on now, green. I have the generator really close to the trailer right now. Only because I don't feel like putting all this cord back in. Turn the gas on. Choke out. It's running. We'll take our 30 amp plug. That's it, you're hooked up. Now let's go inside. Now we're inside. The generator, like I said, is right outside this window right here, not far away. If I was gonna camp, I would pull it as far away as I could, but it's not even that loud in here. I could actually sleep listening to this wine. So we're gonna run some stuff in here now, see if it works. So the microwave. Microwave's running. The RPMs on the generator come up a little bit. Let me try the air conditioner. Air conditioner's running. Generator's running. And I'm gonna put five seconds on the microwave while the air conditioner's running and the microwave are running at the same time right now. The air conditioner is definitely louder than the generator. Like I can't even hear the generator right now running. No mess from gasoline, no smell from gasoline. I really like this hookup. You saw us hook it up. You heard the air conditioner running. It's still running outside the window right now. You can barely hear it, or I can barely hear it. I don't know if it's gonna get picked up through this microphone that I'm wearing. We're outside, it's super windy. I don't know if you could hear it. We're gonna walk around and check it out. 
So there it is. One thing you want to notice is that this exhaust end this is, and is going to get a little warm, and you're going to want that facing away. The noise is coming out of this end as well. So here it is. It's the Furman WHO 3242 dual fuel generator. You can see it's 3,750 starting watts, 3,000 running watts on LPG or liquid petroleum gas. It's slightly higher on pump gas or gasoline, liquid gasoline. I don't want to deal with the mess or the smell or having an extra gas tank. I'll put the link in the description for this generator. I could pick it up and put it in the back of my pickup truck by myself. Easily two people can pick this up. There's a handle on both sides, makes it really convenient. And the clip on the regulator, you can clip it right to the handle. And it's got a set of wheels and this convenient handle that tilts up out of the way where you can pick it up and drag it with the, pull it along with the wheels like a hand truck. There's clear instructions on top of it of how to operate it. In case this video wasn't clear enough, you want to follow the LPG or liquid petroleum gas directions. And if you follow these step-by-step -step instructions, you can't go wrong.